One of the questions that comes up my videos quite often that I want to address today is how long does it take to grow a beard like that? And sometimes this question can be somewhat perplexing for me to answer because it depends on which video you're watching. Anybody who's seen a number of my videos will know that uh, I change my beard style quite often. I like change. I like mixing it up a little bit. When I have it long, I want it short. When I have it short, I want it long. I want it different shapes. I want to try different things. Um, and so therefore, it really depends on which video you're referring to. It's pretty easy to tell by, uh, by the questions that you have. Uh, but most of the time, I have to take a guess at it because it's just, um, it's just a matter of looking back and knowing that um, I didn't necessarily start from the very beginning with the kind of beard that you're looking at in those videos. Uh, so I'll give you kind of a good baseline for how you can proceed depending on which kind of beard you like. Now, here, my standard answer for this would be if you're, regardless of where you're at, you want to shoot for, if you're, if you're talking about with starting from a clean shaven face, you're going to want to start looking at like a four to six month window, depending on how long you want it. Um, now, people who have seen my uh, video on how to trim a V-shaped beard, that should be pretty easy to do within a couple months for the most part, maybe two and a half months, maybe three months, depending on what length you want it. But the length I have it in that video, I would say is about a two, two and a half month beard. And um, then the one where you have the one the video I have where you grow up how, it's about how to trim a medium sized beard uh I would say you're looking at maybe uh three to four months depending and everybody's hair everybody's beard grows at a different rate, so it's very difficult to say but the questions really come from a place of um of of variance within the viewers themselves because because of that very reason, the hair grows different on different people's faces. Some people have patchy beards. Some people um, uh, just have a different kind of texture. Some people have very curly beards. Some have a more a more straight beard. And so they're asking questions uh, from that perspective. And so I have to do my best in, in giving you an answer, but I would have to say that the best course of action to take, regardless of what kind of beard you want, was is shoot for four to six months. And the reason why is at, at four to six months, you have enough to work with. You have enough to start cutting back and, uh, and making adjustments. And that's what you want. You need to have enough. And the problem is with most guys is they're not patient. They're not patient to wait long enough for the patches in their beard to be covered over by hair um, above it and or around it. And uh, they're also not uh, patient enough to get past the itchy phase. I've never personally had an itchy phase, but I know a lot of guys do. That should generally uh, phase itself out within a month. Now, um, also, they're not they're not willing to wait long enough for the beard to to get long enough to cut back because, quite frankly, it can be unattractive. Only unattractive to you though, because. What happens is you have an idea, an ideal beard in your head, and you want to look like that. You want to look sharp all the time. And because the beard you see in your face in the mirror is not the the image you have in your mind, you think you've got to do something about it. You think you've got to fix it. You've got to trim it back. The problem with that is, is you can't trim your way to a longer beard. Now, I am growing my beard out right now. And I, I'm, my intention is to grow it longer, like I've had it before. And I'm, I'm I kind of have a, I, I know what I need to do along the way to make it look sharp. But at the same time, I'm going to have to go through some phases where it's not as attractive as I'd like it to be. Um, but you have to be willing to to ride that out to get through that. And uh, it just takes some patience, and it takes a little bit of of maintenance. Now, I don't mean maintenance with a trimmer. I'm just simply, I simply mean maintenance with products, but you, you have to, you have to be willing to give it some time. You can't trim your way there. Um, and you need to, um, you need to think about what you're going to put in your beard in the meantime, instead of just letting it be scraggly, dry, and unkempt. So there you have it. Now, the reason why I say four to six months also 
is because uh, depending on the length that you want it. Now, I had when I first started growing my beard out longer, I my intention was to grow a yeard, uh, which is a year long beard without any cutting. Um, I got to six months and realized that um, I think I want to um, do some trimming now because it was just getting long enough to where I wasn't sure I wanted to go any longer. It, it does it, for me it was changing the way I look too much. And I, I was really anxious to, to do something with it anyway. A, a year-long beard would have been too long for me as it was. So at six months, I went and got it trimmed. I actually found a guy on YouTube. His name is Matt Gifted Hands. And uh, he's out of uh, Land of Lakes, Florida. I went to him. Man, he made my beard look immaculate. Uh, so at the six-month mark was perfect for me with a longer beard. And if you don't think you can have a longer beard at that point, uh, you might be mistaken. You might be misjudging, miscalculating that. Uh, but at least at the at the four to six month mark, you have enough there to trim back to a to a uh, a nice shape that you're going to want. You're going to want to find a nice nice barber. You're going to want to find some good beard tutorials. Whatever it is you want to do, you 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 need to have enough to cut back to, to make adjustments so that if you make mistakes. Uh, you still have something to work with. And um, and also, if you're starting from a clean shaven face, work toward a month goal before you do anything. If you have to use trimmers, if you just cannot resist the urge, at least don't touch it for one month. For one month. And then if you've achieved that goal, ask yourself if you can go for two months. Um, so two months out, you should notice a nice full beard. Even if you have patches in your beard, uh, hair will, will start to grow over those patches and start um, start covering for some of that. Um, now, I have, it's very, I mean, I people don't think I have patches in my beard. I actually do, it's just that mine happen to be under my chin, right under here. But uh, I just let it keep growing and nobody knows the difference. And so, you know, you're going to have places in your beard where uh, it grows all wiggity-whack, all wonky, and it, it looks like it's growing in a different direction. It look, it's going to look like you have more hair in one place and then the other. And you probably really don't. You might just have uh, denser growth at that point. You might have more hair follicles. But uh, the hair might just be growing in different directions. And so it appears that it's 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 either more hair or you need, you, you're just going to have to do something with it. But I guarantee you that if you wait, that you'll be pleased if you do a month-by-month -month goal. Set a goal every month to go one more month. And by the time you've reached the third month, you're going to be even happier. A fourth month, you'll see that uh, you're glad that you didn't take trimmers or scissors to it because it's going to start uh, straightening itself out a little bit month. And the fifth and sixth month is when um, the hair start to get, starts to get heavy enough, long enough to straighten itself out a little bit, but not completely. But that's a good time to start trimming. In the meantime... What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use beard oils, beard balms, um, good conditioners, good beard washes, and uh, make sure that you keep that in it because that will make a huge difference. If your hair looks healthy, if it feels healthy, and it smells sublime, you'll be motivated to keep going. The problem with the problem with a lot of guys is they don't want to put anything in it, so the beard gets dry, it gets itchy. It looks scraggly. It kind of goes all over the place. And they think, well, this doesn't look good anyway. I'm just going to either cut it off or I'm going to trim it way back. And then they end up regretting it. I promise you, you'll end up regretting it if you do that. If if what you had in mind to begin with was something a little bit longer, whatever the length is you're thinking of. So um, if you put beard products in, if you put some oil in it, it'll keep the itching down to a, to a dull roar. Uh, it'll also keep the hair soft. It'll treat the skin, and if you use beard balm, it'll help manage it and keep it uh, somewhat shaped, depending on how well your, uh, how much wax your beard balm actually has in it. And then, um, if you use the proper beard washes, that goes a long ways too. There's a lot of there's a lot of different beard washes out there in the market, and um, some of them are better than others. And then, um, you know, always keep a good beard comb on you. Now. I, you know, if, if you've seen my previous videos on, on beards, you're going to know that I am an affiliate for Arteus Man, and I'm an affiliate with them unapologetically because their products are just really, really good. They're just high, uh, top-notch beard oils. 
And so I often talk about this Bay Rum Beard Balm, uh, Bay Rum Beard Oil on here quite a bit. And it smells terrific. Um, I'm also trying out their, their sample, uh, this new beard oil called Resolution. It's really good too. They they don't have any beard oils that are not good. There are some that I prefer prefer more than others, just because of my own personal taste, and everybody has their own separate personal taste. But um, they're all really really good, and they even have uh, great uh, beard balms. This one's uh, Bay Rum. I also have um, uh, I also have another uh, scent in there too. For some reason, it's escaping me at the moment. So it should be the simplest thing in the world to remember. Um, but then they also have beard and mustache waxes comes in a little bit smaller tin and, uh, everything they have is just top notch. Only reason I bring it up is because if you use the promo code that I have, it's Greg 20. If you go to their, their website, enter that code, you'll get 20% off on all their products, which brings the total down quite a bit. And, uh, you can also get free beard samples. Make sure you ask and inquire about that. Um, and any, any, any order that you have over $50 in the U.S. is free shipping. So that's also a plus. You need to really look into those. Uh, so there you have it. They, they pretty much have everything. They even have brushes like this, this uh, Artie's Man brush. Great brush. And nice combs and conditioners, shampoos. They pretty much have everything. So I would check them out if I were you. Now, just to reiterate, to answer the question, how long does it take to grow a beard like that? Give it four to six months because that's where the sweet spot is at in growing a beard to a length that's workable, trimmable, and um, one that's going to make you happy. You have to take care of your face garden, but you have to give it time. It's like anything else you plant in the ground. You have to give it time. You have to give it time to, to uh, lay in the soil, to do its work, for nature to do its work. And uh, in the meantime, you have your end to do too, which is putting the proper things in your beard to make it look good, to make it look healthy, and to make it smell great. And um, hopefully these tips have helped. And if you have any further questions about anything regarding your beard, and uh, mine, mine in particular, feel free to ask away, and uh, I will do my best. All right, guys. Have a good one. Catch you later. Bye-bye.